Hello everybody, hope you're as always. My name is Michelle Arora. Today I'll be answering one of the questions asked by one of my learners. It's about how do we overcome stammering and the voice clarity related issues. And this is the most important, I think it's a very, very important question for all of us to understand that you see we practice language, we practice all the six areas of language that I have spoken before, but if you do not take care of the voice clarity, it spoils everything. There's no use at all, right? So it's gonna be very, very interesting interesting question. I thought let me share it with share a couple of important tips with all of you to overcome um, the the speech related issues, right? If there are there's the issues related to the voice Voice, which is not clear you can practice these things it helps it helps right enhance better speech clarity so the qeqr technique i've already made a video on that do watch it but let me give you another good practices around speech clarity so for example number one thing that you can always do is you can do regular practice but regular practice in what well regular practice on reading read aloud when you read aloud, what happens, the words, the sentences, your own voice gets into your ears, right? You, you get a complete understanding, are you too fast or too slow, or is there any speech related issues, or is there any word or sound that I'm not pronouncing correctly, or am I eating it up? You get an idea by yourself, once you listen to yourself, you're reading aloud, and also you develop a conscious speech practice when you're reading aloud right so read aloud does help in, in in speech clarity issues right it makes your speech clear and loud you know audible and loud right for instance, take it imagine right has it ever happened to you when it was difficult for you to understand someone because of the voice clarity issues the voice was not clear that somebody was very fast or very slow or he was eating up his own words people do that you might have seen it right people eat up their words they do not finish the sentence completely they don't utter the sound properly and these are wrong practices we need to finish the sentence properly and then we need to complete the word properly and completely for better voice clarity so reading aloud does help do that right and what you read aloud is you can actually practice the tongue twister too tongue twisters now tongue twisters are also a great way to enhance your speech clarity but there are ways to do it. Whenever you have a tongue twister like, where were we in World War One? And you do it fast. You say, where were we in World War One? We do it fast, and then you can come back to the natural state. So all the tongue twisters, for all the sounds, for all the speech sounds, there are tongue twisters. And if you practice them, you are more likely to develop better voice clarity when you're speaking. Do tongue twisters, but do it fast, and again, it comes back to the natural state. It's a good idea, right? Tongue twisters you can do. One other thing you got to do is slow down. Slow down when you're speaking, right? When you're practicing voice clarity, it's always a good idea to slow down, right? Take a pause and, and pacing. Pause and pacing, right? Pausing and pacing, it helps in voice clarity. And because most of the, the you know, issues with the voice clarity is when people are, people are too fast, very difficult to understand and comprehend also. So slow down, but not too slow. It's a moderate one. Slow down, take a good breath, and then pause and pace. Pause and pace. When you're talking, right? Another thing that you can practice is use. Very important, very powerful. One of my favorites one. Use positive, positive, visualization. Visualization, positive visualization. Now, let's say if you have a speech, let's say you have a presentation, any speech, which is any talk that you are going to deliver, imagine, visualize yourself being there. Visualize yourself that you're speaking with with proper voice clarity. You're taking care of your tonality, and every sound is coming out of your mouth completely. Visualization. Excuse me. Do that, right? It's a very, very, very powerful. Imagine yourself. There are a lot of people who are listening to you. They're clapping for you, and you are speaking with 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 confidence, with with great voice clarity, and everybody is able to understand you. And they're applauding the way you speak. Just 
get that picture in your mind get that picture in mind you're speaking picture of your audience in your mind and make it bigger and better and clearer when you're speaking when you are visualizing so that's also a very important technique and many people don't do that by the way right but it's important to do so read aloud take tongue twisters slow down use powerful visualization technique before your presentation and then another important one is record your speech and review Record and review. Record your speech and review it. Now, when I say record and review, I mean that let's take a topic for a minute. Just record it and listen to yourself. Like, how do you sound when you're speaking? Are there any adjustments that you need to make? Do you need to speed up or do you need to slow down? Which word is not very clear to your own ears? If it's not clear to your own ears, how would it be clear to somebody else's ears, right? And that fair judgment, that fair idea, we get it by listening to ourselves. Listening to ourselves is very important, powerful, or genuine feedback that we can give it to ourselves without any third party interventions. Do that, record, and review. So these techniques like read aloud, practice tongue twisters, slow down use positive visualization and record and review these five techniques help you to be good at your speech pattern when you're speaking you will resolve all your voice clarity issues and you'll have an impeccable clear crystal clear voice when you're speaking do practice that